Hello and welcome to the channel. It's May 24. This is about the second nice day we've had weather-wise. It's, it's sort of rained since October, I would say, uh, being pretty wet. Um, so we're up here in my usual contesting spot. Uh, regulars to the channel will recognise this horizon. Um, just setting up for the uh, six metre UK AC activity contest here in the UK. Um, now this spot uh, it's got good uh, visibility uh, southwest, which is that way, uh, south, which is that way, and if you know the area, the three Yorkshire peaks are that way, so there's some big hills in that direction. Now, over here towards the setting sun is uh, west. Again, there's a hill there, but that's a fair way away. Uh, clear view north, and then on this side of the car, um, there's a slight mound right next to me. And over that way is east, so Europe's that way. And uh, I've always wondered whether the antenna at full height, about seven meters, um, 21 feet, 23 feet, uh, whether I get over that, that mound. So you can see better on this side of the car. Um, so over that way is uh, Teesside in the northeast of England. Uh, so again, if you know the area, that's Redcar, Middlesbrough, Stockton, Hartlepool. Uh, and Darlington towards this way further in the west. So what I'm going to do, uh, if I come around here, is I'm going to strap this phone uh, to the top of the stub mast, stick it on the mast, uh, put it full height. I'll put the phone on full zoom and uh, see if we can see you over that hill. Um, it's a bit hazy, you can see there in the distance. Uh, so be uh, whether we can see um, things over that way to the east because there is industry over there so there's 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 things to spot uh, and the North York moves are that way I'm in the, the Yorkshire Dales on the west so the middle west side of the of the UK uh, and over that way on the east coast is the North York moves um, so anyway we'll uh, we'll crack on and here's a full 360 view from the top of the mast and I've taken a few still shots and zoomed in just to help explain what we can see uh, and compare what's uh, what's visible on the ground in a minute. So here we are, we're all set up now uh, with the 5 Ellie Updays Yagi, so that's a 6 metre Yagi and it's 7 metres off the ground um, and yeah, it's a, it's a lovely evening. So you might be thinking, well why, why, am, I, why am I going on about all this and that, that small hill over there? Well, if you're new to amateur radio or you're completely unfamiliar with VHF and above frequencies, well, the adage height is might is particularly important of VHF and UHF. Uh, so height above sea level, here I'm 460 metres above sea level, that's about 1,500 feet. Uh, at home I'm only 44 metres, so I've got another 420 metres uh, underneath me. So as well as height above sea level, height above ground is key for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, uh, VHF and UHF frequencies are affected by large nearby objects, so if you're in a town, a tall building, or, or a hill here, or, or a large elephant, something like that could uh, affect uh, VHF, UHF propagation. Uh, so getting uh, above ground uh, as high as you can, within, within reason, uh, helps, helps your case. Also, uh, particularly with uh, Yagis, but also Colinias, the radiation pattern of the beam uh, is at its optimum uh, the higher above ground it is, so you get more gain effectively uh, from the antenna. So more, in this case, more RF goes in the way you want it. Um, so there's two, two reasons. Make my way through that uh, heather and uh, show you what's on the, uh, the other side of that hill. Right, so here I am, on, I'm on the peak of the hill, if I zoom in, uh, there you go, you can see the antenna, can't see the car. Uh, I think it's about the same height as my head, looking at that, it's hard to tell. Definitely above ground. Now if I turn and show you what's over the hill. Right, hopefully you can see this, but that hill in the horizon, way over there, if I can get my finger in the way, there. That's the uh, the North York Moors, so you can see those. Now you might be able to make out, I can see it, uh, but I don't know whether you can on the, on the phone, 
down there, right on the horizon, there's some white marks, some chimneys, that's some industry. So that's where the sea is. Um, and that's the far, far side of, uh, of, of England, effectively. Uh, the North Sea's over there. Uh, so I'll put at the bottom how far that is. Uh, so I think I can uh, get over, over the hill okay. So here's that picture zoomed right in. You can see the white, large industrial sheds on the horizon. Uh, and this is the shot from the mast. I can see the profile of the mirrors, but I can't see the shed. But I think I'm getting over that wall. Going to have my way back over to the car uh, through through this moss. Uh, it's quite soft in places after all the rain we've had, so you have to be careful where you put your feet. Uh, and this area's been burnt off. Uh, that's deliberate, that's to get new heather shoots. Uh, this is a grouse mower. Uh, so the new heather shoots uh, grow in this burnt area. It's all controlled burning. Um, and the, uh, the, the grouse chicks eat the shoots. And then ultimately they get shot and eaten. So now I'm going to show you a website that helps you do all that from the comfort of your shack. So here we are on the site here, what's that? And we want a new panorama. So if I click on that, and you can zoom out. I don't know where we are in the world here. Uh, nowhere it would seem. Oh, there we go. In Europe. So you can either put in your longitude and latitude or zoom in where you want to be and I want to be uh, around here if I zoom in I know where my spot is and if I go to satellite view um, so see what I mean about patchwork grouse mirror uh, so if I zoom in here there's my spot so I'll click on that uh, elevation, so I've, I can put in a name, uh, just portable site. And if I move up to elevation uh, above ground, so my mast is 23 feet. Uh, and then uh, let's have a look. Submit request. So as it says there, it takes about two minutes. So I'll put that in uh, and we'll see where we get to. So here we are, uh, my map's come back uh, and here uh, is my site and it's centre England really. Uh, and the rise I was talking about is here, so more northeastlish direction than east. Um, so what you can do uh, is, there's a few things on this site, I don't claim to be an expert. If we scroll up, this is a view of uh, the horizon, uh, northeast, southwest, and you can turn on and off a zero degree and one degree altitude line so that shows you horizon you can move around if you want to scan around um, so this is useful for uh, showing uh, in theory what a site looks like uh, obviously we have visited uh, the site in reality so there's the hills in the south I was explaining about uh, there's that rise in the west which is further away this is exaggerated by the way as it says there so it all looks a bit bumpy uh, that's why. Uh, so the direction I was looking in was here. Uh, now you can click on this map and then if I show profile one over here, uh, there we go, it draws uh, a profile map of your location uh, down to the horizon uh, and there we can see uh, what, uh, what I thought I could see. Uh, you can put other things in here uh, a frequency um, I'll put 50 megahertz in uh, and this is this shows lensing uh, which is more um, more a tool I think used for microwaves and microwave dishes and so on uh, and directing antennas uh, from fixed points to points so I don't claim to be an expert in that so I'll come out of that uh, and hide that profile so like I say you can just move around and see different things and in, in different distances along the bottom uh, on the main map, uh, I'll show you some things on here as well. So here we are back on the main map. Uh, it's got some other features. Uh, if I click the horizon button, it'll show me um, the visible horizon from that point at that height above ground. 
so there's the uh, the hills to my south, uh, the other side of the dale. This is the clearer view uh, to the east and a bit to the north as well. There's also this up in the air feature, if I zoom out further, and uh, that relates to these uh, heights above ground, 10,000 feet, 30,000 feet, and this is to do with plane spotting. Um, so that's uh, another feature uh, not, not related to what, what I'm looking at here. Uh, so hopefully it'll just turn that back off. Um, oh, it doesn't want to turn off, but there you go, it will turn off. Um, so there you can see it's a great site uh, for researching um, real sites. So it's a great website for real physical sites. <coughs> and, uh, and just to understand where your signal might get to uh, at different heights as well. If you could play with this with a different height mast, uh, you could see the effects uh, of, of distance. Uh, so really good f facility, www.hearwhatsthatalloneword.com Thanks for watching. The channel's all about simple projects and operating radio, so if you like and subscribe and hit the bell, you won't miss out on future videos. 73.